What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be going over my top five offensive playbooks so far this year in Madden 19. Completely opinionated list. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments. Let me know if your playbook's on here or if you think there are other playbooks that should be on here. But starting things off at number five, I'm going to have the Carolina Panthers playbook. And the Panthers book, years past, has always been unique, mainly because of Cam and just the offensive style they bring in real life. Uh, they have some decent, you know, single back. They got Deuce Close this year, which they didn't have last year. Um, so Deuce Close, you know, the wham's not as good, but the stretch is still good. Tight and angle, still a solid passing play. So it's still a fine formation. I form, you have the slot flex, which I just made a video on that a couple days ago. Uh, you have the toss dive combo with some other decent running plays. So that's a fantastic formation to run the ball out of. You have some nice strong eye, weak eye, some unique pistol formations with some triple options. Uh, triple options this year, keeping it with the quarterback is not very good at all. Uh, a lot of times your quarterback will end up just instantly getting hit even if the read is to keep it. Um, but uh, giving the ball off on the triple options can be effective sometimes uh, depending on, you know, as long as you're not being super predictable with it. But you do get a triple option both out of the pistol weak and the pistol full house formations. And then guns. So they have 19 gun formations, a very, like I said, unique um, because of just the way Cam plays. So they have a unique gun split Panther with some weird plays like the inverted veer, PA inverted veer, stuff like that, uh, that your opponents definitely won't be expecting. Gun heavy Panther, the only playbook in the game with this formation. Uh, you know, not everything's always that fantastic. It kind of varies year to year on how good that formation is. You have wing tight, gun ace, gun ace slot. Ace slot is a fantastic formation. It has been, in my opinion, for you know years past. Uh, posts is a great play. You have a nice inside zone, PA read. Uh, you can do some cute things with the motioning. You can motion over the far left receiver to the right and kind of get like a shotgun, you know, almost like a shotgun tight look with two tight ends. Uh, so it's a pretty unique formation. Doubles is always pretty solid. The stack formations are all right. You have Gun Bunch, which, you know, isn't as good as it was last year, but it's still pretty good. I still see a decent amount of people running this. And so, like, Bunch Trail is still a great play. Halfback Base is still a good run. Uh, Z Spot and goes fine for, like, a Flood concept. Mesh Spot's a pretty good play. So you have solid options out of there. Bunch Open Offset, Gun Tight, which is always a nice formation. A double stack, some spread, and then Trio Panther. I think Trio Panther is actually a fantastic... This might be my favorite formation in this playbook actually and mainly because it has this play dagger now this play dagger i'll go ahead and show you guys uh you're gonna see that b route is very tough to guard i have devin funches running that which that's not who you want you want somebody fast running that route but funches is going to be fine for this demonstration as you can see man to man he's going to toast his man every single time that was funches on james bradbury and against zone that's going to be a tough route uh, for your opponent's zones to kind of guard. So they're going to have to either get to you very quickly by bringing pressure, or they're going to have to, at the very least, use her that route. But then you have a delayed circle route out the backfield, as you saw right there, to Christian McCaffrey, which really throws a wrench in their decision-making because they have to decide whether they want to sink back to guard Funches or if they want to have to come underneath and guard McCaffrey. As you can see right there, the effectiveness of that Funches route. So that's a fantastic play. I absolutely love that play this year. It's new to Madden 19, and I think that makes that Gun Trio uh, Panther formation just very, very good. Uh, they have some other trips formations, some nice empty sets. Um, and then I think I mentioned Gun Wing Tight, but uh, Wing Tight's another formation that is actually very, very good in my opinion. You have an 0 1 trap, which is a great run this year. You also have an inside zone and some solid passing plays. And if you notice this PA double play uh, or PA double post play, it looks very similar to something like gun tight flex uh, PA post shot. And you can set it up very similarly. Just drag the far right tight end. And you're going to see these double crossing routes by Thomas and Olsen are kind of a struggle for defenses to guard. That Y route, just like from PA post shot, gets into a tender area of the field. And then on the left side, uh, you also have the drag deep cross combo. What I like to do is I go ahead and motion out the or motion in the far left right receiver on that post route and then just make my reads. Uh, I feel like he gets just better separation and better positioning if you motion him in a few steps and snap it before he gets to the left uh, tight end. But you're gonna see, as you can see right there, he's able to kind of get behind the defense. I try to take a shot there, um, have a guy like Curtis Samuel to try and split the defense and go deep. Uh, but this is a fantastic play. Like I said, those dual crossing routes by the Y and A receivers are fantastic. Uh, you do have tight ends running them in salary cap or something like Mutt. You'll be able to have, you know, some better athletes there. I think in salary cap, there's a way to get 
a, uh, a wide receiver at one of these positions. I believe uh, one of my Twitter followers, Bro Bean, actually told me that. And so, uh, you know, you have a way to get other athletes here to get a little more speed on the field. But this is a fantastic play. Like I said, kind of mimics that PA post shot uh, action from um, gun tight flex. So fantastic formation and comes in at number five on my offensive playbooks. So number four here, we have the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. And really, I'll go ahead and skip straight to it. The shining light in this book, in my opinion, is the gun bunch tight end formation. Uh, this is the formation that everything in this playbook, in my opinion, is built around. And uh, I mean, I can go over a little bit of kind of what I think makes this formation so good, but it starts with this PA boot overplay, in my opinion. And it's going to be that deep crossing Y route by Danny Amendola here. And it's very similar to like I just showed you guys Dagger from uh, the Gun Trio Panther. Uh, that route's just very, very good, both against man coverage and against zone. It's going to get in a tender part of the field that pretty much forces your opponent to have to user guard it. If he doesn't get, you know, pressure to your quarterback like he did right there, but even then I'm able to escape. And you can see with the clear out route by the tight end, that route's pretty much going to get open every single time. So it all starts around that play. And once you're able to force your opponent to have to respect that route and be in that area of the field, then you can branch off. You have tight end corner, have a lot of corner routes and post routes, can really manipulate this with motion, you know, turning corner routes into posts and vice versa. Inside switch gives you a nice table route, corner route combo on the right with a backside post. Uh, you have a nice inside zone run. So you can get really creative out of this formation. And it really uh, just kind of makes this playbook work, in my opinion. I think I picked this playbook over a playbook like the Seahawks uh, because I think that the gun bunch tight end in the Dolphins is a little bit better. Uh, the Seahawks do not have tight end corner, which I think is a fantastic play. The Seahawks instead have curl flat corner, which is also a good play. But personally, I would rather tight end corner, in my opinion. Uh, other than the gun bunch tight end formation, they do have some decent stuff. You know, split slot doubles halfback weak is a fine formation with inside zone PA double posts. Um, PA read, fake rub, stuff like that. You can get pretty uh, unique. Oh, also corner strike and slot shake. I almost forgot about those two plays. Um, but they have some other decent sets, some trip sets, a lot of wide trips, uh, you know, trips tight end offset. They have trips tight end uh, flex, I believe. Yeah, trips tight end flex, trips by ISO, a lot of trip stuff. Um, they do have regular gun bunch, like I talked about in the Panthers book, Z spot and go, you know, bunch trail, half pack base, stuff like that. So bunch is still pretty good. Uh, they have one pistol set, one weak eye, and two regular eye forms, so you don't get a ton of power running out of this playbook. Uh, so if that's your thing, you're probably going to want to steer clear. You get a decent amount of single back, you know, three three tight end sets, so you can do some scheming right there if you like running three tight end, one halfback sets. Uh, you get a lot of two tight or two tight end sets with, uh, you know, wing stack, wing slot, wing, deuce close, stuff like that. Uh, so you can definitely have a two tight end scheme and then a, a few three wide receiver single back sets. Uh, mainly, I like bunch and doubles, in my opinion, uh, to scheme with that gun bunch tight end. You can audible down and go to stuff like the quick pitch, I think is pretty good this year. Doubles has both a halfback stretch and an 0-1 trap, which are two great runs this year. Uh, makes it for a good inside outside run combo but this is coming in at number four on my playbook list mainly because of the gun bunch tight end formation so at number three on this list we have the new orleans saints offensive playbook it has been a very hot playbook to start off the year in madden 19. if you guys watch guys like problem and dubby who stream uh, they both run this offense uh they use a lot of really the formation that's caught fire this year is the y off trio week um, you have some great plays out of here, like Saints outs, um, sticking up with that backside post routes, very good. And some nice accompanying, you have some decent run plays like the HP base, PA post dig shot if you want to go deep. Even Saints curls, stuff like that. Just basic route combos this year really work well because of the types of defenses people are calling. Uh, Cover 3 does a great job of shutting down a lot of you know years past good route combos. And so a lot of people are just kind of sitting in like vanilla cover three and stuff like that. And you can get away with, you know, mixing in a concept as simple as curl flats to beat cover three. And so sometimes people try to outsmart themselves, but this is a great formation. Uh, it's been one of the best so far this year in Madden 19. You also have some other great uh, formations. Obviously the Saints book, everybody thinks of gun tight offset tight end. I believe one of only two playbooks in the game who have it. I think the other one is the Green Bay Packers and the other one isn't as good. The, the Packers don't have this many plays. The Saints have a lot of unique plays out of here uh, that makes this playbook just that more much more special. Uh, they also have the gun bunch and then some other, you know, trips formations. Trey Y flex is nice. 
Uh, you have some good stuff. The PA crossers, the dagger play like I talked about out of the Carolina book. This one doesn't have the delayed circle route out the backfield, but it's still a solid option. Fake screen wheel has been a fantastic play this year. Um, I believe it's going to be getting patched soon because of how uh, the deep zones play that wheel route. They don't really play it correctly, so you can really bomb your opponent on that. Um, so, so definitely keep that in mind, both if you use this playbook and if you're playing against someone who is using this book and they come out in that formation, be mindful of that. Uh, they also have the pistol bunch tight end formation, which has been great for the past several years, pretty much since they put it in, and I believe it was like Madden 15. Um, you know, cross drag still a great passing play, curl flat, verticals. The halfback zone is still a solid run, strong power. You have a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, so that's always going to be a solid formation. And then you have some good weak and close eye, or weak and eye form. Uh, what I was going to say was eye form close, which is a great formation this year. Uh, that halfback toss might be the best eye form toss in the game. It's very effective. Um, if you guys have watched Problem at all stream this year, this is predominantly what he runs, this in the Y-Off Trio week. Uh, but then single back, they still have 10 single back formations. Uh, with that single back tight slots, which is probably not as good as it was last year for sure, but still usable, I would say. Like, it's not completely dead. You might not see it in any huge tournaments this year, but you can certainly still be effective with it with plays like HB Wheel. Even the pitch and the dive are still, you know, solid plays. They're just not as overpowered as they were in years past. So this is just a very balanced playbook. You have a good mix of single back, eye form, weak eye, gun, and then the one pistol formation they have is just, you know, might be the best pistol formation in the game. So... Just a very good playbook year in, year out. The Saints, it seems like you can always count on them, and it's no different this year in Madden 19. Coming in hot at number two on the list, we have the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Much like the Saints, the Patriots just good every year, it seems like their offensive book is just very good. Once again, they have the tight slots. They don't have the pitch, but they do have you know some unique stuff like drag cross-ups, um, you know, they still have the HP wheel, which is very good. Stuff like bench, obviously, that's going to be in all tight slot sets. So tight slots, still a decent formation. You have some other solid single back sets. Ace close, which is pretty unique. Some decent eye form, strong eye, weak eye. Uh, but their shotgun is certainly what draws people to this playbook. Three formations that are really, really, really good uh, this year, which are split close pats, um, trips tight end, and bunch. And on top of that, you also have Y off trips pats, which is also very good and a slot off set, which is also super good. Uh, that's a two tight end set. So you can't really mix that in. Well, you can mix it in, but you can't audible between the other formations. A little more unique in the personnel department, but still a very, very good formation. But really the split close pats this year uh, with really X drag trail and PAY shot. Um, that PAY shot play has that deep crossing route that you see, like I was showing you guys out of dagger and PA boot over uh, from the gun trips tight end or rather the gun trio panther and the gun bunch tight end formations um so that's just a very very good route this year and then extract trail uh, once again that middle post route by the slot receiver on the right very very good in conjunction with you know the crossing routes and the deep post coming in behind it so this split close very very good mainly because of extract trail this year like i said gun trips tight end super good this year pa shot wheel there's that deep crossing route again you know surprise surprise uh, that's the best route in the game, and you're going to see it a lot throughout, you know, the best formations in the game. They're the best formations because they have the best routes. Um, so you also have PA slot corner, which is a great play every single year just because of the combination of corners and posts. Uh, you have drive post, which is a pretty solid play. Stuff like verticals, curl flat even, PA counter go. Once again, the deep crossing route. Uh, so trip side in, always a solid formation. Seems like year in and year out. Their gun bunch, very, very good. You see that A play right there, Pat Sale. That's what sets this Gun Bunch apart from the rest. That's probably might be the best play in Gun Bunch this year. Uh, be, with the nerf of Corner Strike and the removal of Dig Half back out, Pat Sale uh, might have taken over that top spot in the Gun Bunch formation. And this is only one of two playbooks I believe that have it. This one and uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But also you have you know a good supporting cast throughout here. You have Pat's curl flat. You have Bunch Trail. You have the base. You know, PA post has been nerfed this year. You have 518 hook. You have corner strike. So you have mesh spot. So you have a ton of other great plays to go along with that Pat Sale. Probably the best gun bunch in the game, in my opinion. And you have some other complementary formations. Uh, you know, some standard trip sets and spread sets that you really see throughout most of the playbooks in the game. So, uh, like I said, this playbook 
has some solid under center stuff, but the gun is definitely what draws people to it. Every year, it seems like the Patriots playbook is just one of the best at just airing the ball out. This year is no different. Just an onslaught of great formations this year, and you'll definitely be seeing it a lot throughout the Mad 19 season. And at number one, most of you guys probably knew it was coming. The Tennessee Titans playbook, and honestly, it's all about the gun tight flex formation. There are other playbooks in the game that have tight flex, you know, off the top of my head. I believe the Rams have it. I believe the Bengals have it. The Buccaneers have it. And there's a couple more that is, are escaping my mind right now. But the Titans is definitely the most popular playbook uh, to pair with this formation. Uh, you know, you see a ton of people run it online. If you watch Joel stream at all, uh, you know, several other streamers also run this. Um, so it all revolves around this PA post shot play, just the versatility and really how good the base play is. And it forces your opponent to make these wild adjustments. And then you can just go off of, you know, them having to adjust so much to stop this play. And you can pretty much just run other basic concepts. Like I don't have it in my audibles right now, but the uh, double spot play is fantastic out of here. Um, but you're going to see right here, snap the ball. Just this Y route is really what makes it go round. Right there, Mariota airmails it into the sideline. But you saw how wide open he was. I believe that looked like maybe a cover two shell. And it's really the combination of these dual crossing routes. Uh, that B route, once again, on the other side, it gets wide open a lot against zone as well. And so really, with your opponent having to pick one of those to use her, or if they don't use her either of them, both of them are going to be wide open. But it really puts your opponent in a bind because they can't use her both of them. Uh, they pretty much get open against every single zone. And then you also have the quick read to the drag and a deep post behind them to bomb. You know, if they're running cover two or if they're playing super aggressive, they're trying to play on their safety for whatever reason. Um, so that play is just a problem right there. The DB makes a good play on it on the ball. But this is definitely by far the best play in the game, in my opinion. And so really this formation builds on that and then branches out. Um, I'll go ahead and talk about some of the other plays. So the read option is a solid run. You also have the draw. Double spot is what I was talking about, where your opponent's making all these wild adjustments to try and stop the deep crossing routes, and then you all of a sudden hit them with a flood route, you know, a table out the backfield, a spot route to one of the inside receivers. Uh, it's really, really frustrating to play against a good tight flex player this year. Uh, mesh spot's a good play. Cross is a great play, in my opinion. Uh, that's a play that, you know, that wheel route is really pr uh, troublesome to try and guard, especially if you're trying to play man-to-man -man for whatever reason. So just a really tough, I mean, by far the best formation in the game this year, in my opinion, uh, with by far the best play in PA post shot. But aside from that, there's still a great playbook. You still have some unique stuff, tight doubles, you know, doubles and doubles halfback week are both solid. Uh, they have the gun bunch. You saw the trips tight and offset, stuff like that. So really just a plethora of formations to choose from to go along uh, with that tight flex, all with the same personnel grouping. So your opponent can't tell exactly what you're coming out in, you know, at the play call screen. All they're going to see is three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. Uh, you look at they have some decent, strong and, and weak and regular eye form, 13 single back sets. So you have a decent amount to choose from here, doubles and double south bunch. So some more three wide receiver sets to try and throw your opponent off, you know, single back wide trips. Some people really like this. You have the dive stretch combo, stuff like that. Um, you also have Deuce Close, which, like I talked about earlier, isn't as good as it was last year, but still a solid play. You see the tight end angle. You see the halfback stretch, stuff like that. So in my opinion right now, you know, four days into technically Madden's release since the Hall of Fame edition came out, uh, you know, the Titans playbook is the number one book in the game, in my opinion. And it's all because of really this gun tight flex formation, which is the top dog this year. So that's going to do it for my list here. We got the Titans at one, Patriots two, Saints three, Dolphins at four, and Panthers at number five. Uh, those are my personally top five playbooks so far at this point in the Madden 19 season. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take it easy.